That is a keyboard case. Keyboard case, you say? Why does anybody need a case for their keyboard? And the answer is, I'm just as stumped as you. I genuinely don't know why people need these. The only reason I even own one of these is because it was in a package deal with this KBD67 Lite on eBay for cheap. I bought the bundle for the keyboard, when in reality I kind of just, I mainly wanted the case, which kind of just makes this irrelevant. So, what I've done instead of storing that thing in it, I've put my endgame board in here. And since my endgame board is in here, it gives me a chance and an excuse to show it off a little bit because I'm very proud of it. This is about the typical size for a keyboard case. In it, you will have storage for the keyboard itself and oftentimes a cable, but that is not always 100% guaranteed. So I just have the 60% in here and then I have the wrist rest that goes with the case and then the cable stored right there in the back. Packs up all nice and sweet. The inside of it has this felt texture. If you've ever played an instrument in school, your um, instrument case had this kind of material in it. That's about how as best as I can describe it. It's got this like cardboard poly stuff in here that helps protect it a little bit, gives it some nice, nice little rigidity in case you know you were to take this and you know, chuck it at your closet door, your keyboard would be fine. And once you're done being utterly destructive to the environment that you live in with your equipment, you can just pack all of your shit back up in here all nicely, zip the thing up, and then your keyboard is all ready for transport, ready for the first train to no bitches land, because that's exactly where you're going if you own one of these. So the question on your mind right now after seeing this, do I need one of these? And the answer is most likely no. You don't. I really wouldn't advise anybody to get one of these unless you have something expensive that you want to put in it, or you genuinely are the type of person who packs up their keyboard and just goes places. If you need it for business trips, if you're taking it to a convention, etc., etc., if it involves travel where it could possibly get banged around a little bit, definitely pack and do a case or at least put it into like, you know, your carry-on bag or something so you can at least trust that it's going to be safe. But if you're like you know, me, and this is your office, you, you don't really, you don't need one of these. You might not be able to find this one anymore because they don't really make these, and they certainly don't sell them on the website. They sell a different one, which looks way better. So if you want to get a keyboard case, definitely, definitely go here, but you will be paying $35 for one of these. I own a lot of things. This is the majority of the collection bodies, switches, caps, cases, half-finished projects, whatever. Got a couple on the wall there, I got one in the case, and I got one right there in the desk. It doesn't matter what it is, it could be half-decent, it could be bad, it could be fucking that weird. It's got a home in the collection, and that's why I like it. As for me, yeah, these things are kind of dumb, but do I own one? I certainly do. I, uh, I hate to leave on you so abruptly, but I got a train to catch. I'll see you later.